Welcome back, VTubers. Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. I'm finally getting to one of the beers that Peter and Jakob sent me. Peter, of course, the master of hoppets on YouTube. And uh, if you saw my beer mail, he sent me some awesome stuff. I'm going to start out the first one from the beer mail. This is going to be Horn Beers Helg. I, I hope, hopefully, pronouncing that right. So this is a English style barley wine with cherries added and clocks in at 10% APV, so let's get this thing open. Peter sent me some notes, said to open this, or to uh, drink it slightly cooled, and I noticed the beer is bottle conditioned as well, so that's nice. It's a big 10% beer. Definitely some good carbonation on this one. I can definitely tell it's, oh, I can smell it from here. I can tell there's definitely some cherries in there, because definitely um, of course, pretty cloudy. Probably got some yeast in there. Um, definitely has a ruby cherry kind of note to it. It's a darker kind of caramel color. Got about a finger of uh, very off-white, slightly red tinge, yellow tinge head on there, and uh, some nice carbonation on there. Let's get the nose on it. Oh yeah, picking up a lot of cherries. That's pretty predominant on the nose. Like tart cherries, not quite like a like a creek, a Belgian creek, but underneath that I get some some caramel notes, some some other sort of like dark berries, almost like a like a boysenberry raspberry kind of thing. So probably some like fruit esters, nice breadiness to it. So uh, let's uh, give this a try. Cheers. Yeah, I actually get a lot of cherry notes. There's some sweet cherries, some tart cherries in there. Good amount of carbonation. Yeah, a lot of lingering character. Not overly sweet. I think the cherries kind of actually help balance it out in the end. Definitely lingering cherries. Definitely big cherry notes on this beer so far. Kind of to a point where you have to drink on to get your palate used to those cherries before you can start kind of picking out some of the other notes. All right, back with Horn Beer's Helg. Sipping on this one some more. Um, that cherry character just really dominates this beer. It's, it, like I said, it's not too sweet up front. You get a lot of sweet cherry notes. It kind of has a port kind of wine character to it. And um, there's the sweetness, it kind of finishes tart. Uh, I'm just a little disappointed the malt hasn't come forward. I mean, I've let it warm up a little more. I mean, it's just very slightly chilled at the moment. And I was kind of wishing there'd be a bit more malt character. The cherries really seem to dominate, um, which is which is nice. It kind of even makes it, you know, like I said, sort of like a creek without, like, the monster tartness and the lighter mouthfeel. But the uh, the base beers, I, I wish they kicked up maybe a bit more caramel malts. I mean, you get a touch of that coming through. Um, there is a bit of malt sweetness, but it's very light, very kind of like delicate background for the beer. So, um, yeah, this one's pretty nice. Definitely like a dessert type of beer for sure. Pair well with a lot of desserts where you want that kind of cherry flavor to it. 10%, can't taste it. You feel it only. and uh, But it's, uh, it's a really nice. So I'm going to go uh, B- minus on this one. Just because I wish there was more of that, that barley wine coming through. But... Um, it's going to wrap it up for the uh, first beer from the beer mail that Peter and Jakob sent me from Denmark. So until next time, cheers.